Hello and welcome back to another video. So I have just launched focus mode in Flotelic. This is really exciting. This is a moment where the product starts becoming its own identity in the whole note taking space. See, I get asked quite often, what is it that my app is doing differently? Why is my app different to the competition? I've shared my thoughts on this previously, but I'm going to just recap that. If I go to this here, this is my roadmap. So I've got a video about what it means to be a level one entrepreneur and a level two entrepreneur. This is what I'm working towards. I'm in phase one of this app. Is it transformative? And the reason why I'm building this app is because I need something that can create, allow you to create your, your personal knowledge management system, your notes, use it for your second brain, but most importantly, how to help you build the habit around doing that. Uh, if the book Atomic Habits has taught me anything, it's a small amount every day, which compounds over time. And I'm a big fan of the Zettelkasten note-taking method, which is all about that. Take your studying, organize those into your own original thoughts, highly connected, and build up what they call the slip box of the wealth of your knowledge, which is about your understanding. Do your thinking through it. But more importantly, then you take that through to creation to expressing your ideas, blog posts, YouTube videos, all of that. And this is the journey that I'm on. I'm trying to get a product that helps you not have the goal of wanting to create great content, but don't know where to start and not just leaving you to figure out how to manage all your notes and then do something with that. I want to take you through the whole journey. And that is what makes Flotelic different. So with that in mind, I'm going to share the focus mode, which is this part here, does it help me build a habit around note taking and being able to get into a consistent routine of deep work, deep focus, do your studying, do your processing of your notes, write a draft on a blog post, all these things do a little bit every day. You don't have to do all at once. You can be studying something that may not come into a blog post for another two, three, four, five weeks. It doesn't matter. You're sort of chipping away. But let's look at the app. So if you use the app for the first time, you're presented with this screen. Don't worry, I will be making this really user-friendly onboarding once I have figured out that I've built a transformative product and then I'm gonna look at scaling that and getting uh, more people using it. But here we have the very basic here. You have a collection. By default, it's called My Notes. If I click on this collection, I have some navigation here. I can change the name of that. I can create multiple collections. The idea is that if you've got different sort of types of work, I may have a work collection. I have a personal collection. I'll show a bit of that in a moment. And I build these collections, and they have what's called a workflow. By default, they'll have the Zettelkast and workflow, where you have your capture. You capture your ideas and your study notes. You have your archive and index into them, what we call permanent notes. Uh, and references, artifacts, if you're referring to a book or a person, maybe an author of a book. And then this is just allows you to see and search everything. Uh, I will be making that configurable in the future, but I need to, again, just make sure that even with this, it's going to be transformative. It's going to help me build the habit around note taking. So don't be, don't be too worried about what you're seeing here. This, I, I want different collections to have different workflows, maybe a journal collection, have a journal workflow, and then open that up for user customization. So how to use it? Let's say I want to capture just an idea. And maybe I'm thinking um, this idea is uh, what's this Zettel Kasten thing? Okay, uh, probably needs uh, uh, interestingly, the auto correction has that spelled incorrectly, because the word is German. And uh, it's a way of note taking. So let's say this is just an idea. I want to capture it. I can say, yes, yeah, an idea note. These are all the types that filter into the menus up there. And then workflow state. Uh, this one's draft. I just captured it. Maybe I want to process that and, and move that into my archive. Um, and I can create a collection of these. Um, just get it in there and then let the, let the software help you manage that. Um, over time. Study notes. So let's say I'm reading a blog post and I find this article, oh, you versus your future self. This is one of my blog posts from a while ago. Um, 
and I want to study this. So here's what I can do. I can take that link and I can create a new study note, you versus your future self. And I could just paste the link in uh, just here. Right, and now if I click this link, I can open it up. That's fine, I can go, go view it. But uh, if it's supported on the website, I can actually open a preview of this link. And now I should see what's called a readability mode um, of that. So here's the readability mode. Now I can basically take this note and start adding my thoughts and ideas to that in here. And this is what we call a study note. I can put YouTube videos in, I'll embed the YouTube video. Uh, so the idea is that I have content and I want to study it. So if I want to collect my blog posts, I put them in there. And this is ready to study. So I, I now want to study this. Now, the feature I've just launched is what's called focus mode. So um, if I look at this, I now have a recommendation. It's, uh, so by default, it's going to be, you've got study sessions, organizing your ideas, organizing your study notes, working on projects. And let's say if I wanted to commit to do 15 minutes of studying a day, 10 minutes of organizing uh, and of ideas, organizing study notes, and working on projects for 20 minutes. So maybe that's my workflow that I want. And I've got one note in here and I can hit start. And now I get a distraction free mode. This is what I call focus mode, where now I'm just looking at this article and the goal here is to read the article, take the parts that I want to take it out of it, put it into here, and build up this study note. Once I'm done, I then move that into ready to process, which then for the next day, for example, I now have um, organized my study notes. When I start that, I have, again, a distraction-free mode, but the goal is to start moving this into my archive. So maybe this is an article about mindset i would create an index in there called mindset and um uh future self i could have as a note here let's go and create that note that note is a permanent note in draft state and i start moving those things um so this is a really good way of being able to just take this one thing process it down and then get that to being done. Now that could be archived off and I've taken that study note and I've embodied that into my, my thinking, my understanding. This is using the Zettelkasten way of doing things. And, uh, and yeah, basically chip away every day, try and make sure that these numbers stay relatively consistent. So you are bringing in articles, you are studying them, you are organizing them. And eventually then you can start creating projects on them. So maybe you wanna write a blog post about you know the self um, um, and productivity or achieving goals or whatever whatever it is uh, so so let's just I'm going to take this away for the moment I'm going to just show you what my actual second brain looks like in Flowtelic um, which will give you a bit more context as to where I use it so I, I use Flowtelic for a variety of things. I have uh, some business related things. I have um, contacts. I won't show you that because it obviously has people's contact details. Uh, I have Flowtelic as a collection here. So I've got things I want to study. I want to study these um, products. They're ready to study. I may just have a few ideas just jotted in. In my projects, um, actually, I think I've got it in everything. Uh, if I look for, uh, sorry, indexes, if I look for my feature ideas, these are all the collection of feature ideas that I, I want to, to capture. And I, what I do is I just put a, when I have a new feature idea, I just put a double bracket in, type what it is, click it, have the option to create it and now I can capture my thinking on that and this now is is a project so in my in my projects I may have say the backlog of things to do uh, it's like a timer on the focus mode this is now the next thing I want to add so once I'm in my focus mode I can do that so you hear I've I've got four notes to study I don't have any ideas or anything to organize because they're just in draft state I haven't moved them into into uh, ones that I do want to capture if I look at my second brain, 
Um, this one's where I've got, I think there's like over 400 notes in here as a, as a collection. Um, so for me, in my index notes, I've got a range of range of topics, everything from your health and longevity, all the way through to mindset, you know, business, um, all those things. I have lots of study notes, so things that I want to want to capture. And my focus mode here now says I've got 108 things to study. Um, clearly, I've been collecting a lot, but um, not getting through them. And if I start this study note, I can now um, choose this this one I want to work on for my 15 minutes, but I can flick through until I find one that I do want to work on. Here's a YouTube video, it pulls it out. I can now watch that here and, and make my notes. Um, and I can just keep going through these um, until uh, basically my 15 minutes is up. Hopefully move them from ready to study into ready to process. And do I have any? I don't have any to organize at the moment because I've completed those. And again, if I'm in an organizing mode, then like, for example, if I want to work on projects, um, there's a project here called Being Accountable in Public that I want to create some content on. Here's my thinking. Here are my study notes of what to research. So, uh, but then eventually I will start going in. Like if I want to talk about indie hackers, like how to use that. Part of my 15, 20 minutes working on this project is to do a bit of research write my thoughts, like start creating content in here. And this is very free form. I can edit this, I can add notes. And again, the idea here is to get this into a, into a state where I can actually produce, say a blog post um, and uh, publish it essentially. And then when that's done, it goes from in progress to complete. So yeah, this is the new feature focus mode. It's all up here. Um, when you push things into the right state, you will then have a recommendation of what to study and go through and, uh, yeah, build up your second brain, build up your projects, go through the process, chip away every day, get the compound effect of producing a wealth of understanding, wealth of knowledge in your note taking. So that when you do come to blog, when you do come to recall information, when you do come to create YouTube videos, you've got something. Uh, the goal is to not work from a blank sheet to paper every time, is that you have so much going on that it's actually really quite simple and straightforward to create new content out of that because you've got all your research, you've got all your notes, you're just uh, now using the skill of communicating that to someone else to solidify your understanding and publish. So I hope you enjoy that. Uh, if you are interested in checking out Flowtelic, uh, there's a link in the description where you can join the waitlist. Uh, when you do join the waitlist, you will get access to uh, the app straight away. So no worries there. And if you uh, are interested in note taking and learning and what I call the, the autodidact journey, which is where you just love learning and you want to become better and uh, grow your skills at that, then do consider subscribing and uh, I'll be producing more videos. I will be producing videos, not just on Flowtelic, on other apps that are out there and helping you succeed with those apps as well so you can make the best choice for what you're looking for. So thank you very much and catch you in the next one.